Hey guys, so today we are going to go over the Blue Tips firmware upgrade for the um, 2019 Flex transmitters. So we have a transmitter here out of its enclosure. If we went into the Blue Tips app and we click program at the bottom, we activated our transmitter. Going to say found device. Click OK. We'll see that device name 2019 Flex Rev 2. Now it's either going to say Rev 1 or Rev 2, but that 2019 Flex is important. So we're going to click out of that. And if you purchase the firmware upgrade from the website, what we're going to do is email you a file. So I'll click into my email, and we go here into this file that would be emailed to you. And we're going to download this .gbl file. So we click download there. The download process starts. And where you find that is actually in your... Um, it's going to be, scroll over here, it's on this particular phone, it's in a Samsung folder and it's called My Files and it's in Downloads, okay? If we went back, you would see the different directories here. We want to click Downloads and it's actually that top file there. So now let's get out of this. It's now in, the, in a location on our phone that we can access. So now what we want to go is go to the EFR Connect app. This is a free app on Android and iOS. And just to be clear, I'm showing this on an Android. The process is very similar for your iPhone. Let's click EFR Connect. And then we want to click Browser. What Browser does is it essentially finds Bluetooth devices that are within range of your phone. We don't have the Bluetooth transmitter tipped up yet, so it won't be on here yet. This is the way I like to do it. I like to open up Browser um, and then tip up the transmitter. So now... On most phones, this should populate at the bottom of the screen, and it does. Ours is called BT19 because we've connected to it before. Um, you may not see that name. But what you're looking for in Android is a strong um, RSSI reading, which here is shown in DBM. So it's the, the lower, like the negative 41 there, the better. Above it, we can see something that's a little bit further out of range, but we're going to want to connect to this. So locate your transmitter, and when you hit connect, what you're going to find is that the blinking stops. In some locations, that LED will actually stay solid, but in this case, it just stayed um, off. It really just depends what, um, what time you actually end up connecting to that transmitter, where you're at in the LED sequence. So then we want to click on these three dots in the upper right corner. We want to click OTA DFU, Over the Air Direct Firmware Upgrade. We want to be on Partial OTA, and then Mode is Reliability. We want to um, then select our file here in application. So we click that. And now we are going to choose our download that we last did. I have a, a bunch up here, but we have the one from 801 AM. So we want to select that one. Okay, now we have our file chosen. Now we're going to select OTA. And it goes into a process here where it connects um, the phone to your transmitter. And now we essentially start that firmware upgrade process. Android usually takes a bit less time than iPhone. I'd say Android is around oh, 20 to 30 seconds. iPhone can take maybe around a minute. Um, but I'll just keep our screen on here. So you can see we're almost done. Okay, perfect. Now we could click End. Okay. And now it disconnects from it, and you'll see the LED sequence change. So now it's in normal operation. So now what we would do is if we go to the home screen, we'll click Blue Tips. <clears throat> Found device. Connection was interrupted. We're going to retry. Found device again. Click OK. Now you can see up top there, 2019 status monitoring. So what that does, it will go through a little bit more here, actually. Um, we'll disconnect from this. Just clicked home. My devices, two. Okay, we already actually have this in here. So two is the number of this transmitter. You can see now it says reset, but what I'd like to show you now is when you go up to your tip-up, if you turned it off, now it tells us that. And actually these we have set up to blink five times on turn off. So that might be what happened when you went, into, went out to pull in your walleye. Now, if you forgot to turn it back on, when you get back in your ice shack, it's still going to say turned off. So if we go there, we still see the turned off. 
if you did indeed turn it back on, boom, there you go. It's going to tell you that in from the My Devices screen as long as you have it, have it saved in there. Um, let's see, I guess that's about it. If we turn it off here, just to show you one more time, it's going to tell you that it turned it off the day and the time there as well. So very cool feature. Um, if you have the 2019 Flex Transmitters, you are eligible to upgrade. Uh, if you need any more information on this, just email info at deepfreezefishing.com. Thanks, guys.